All right, so it's been a while since I've been on here, man. Um, I took a little break. You know, life been showing up. Things got real busy for me. Things got real good for me lately. Just been taking a lot of time to focus on myself, focus on my life, focus on my mission, focus on, focus on my business. Um, since the last time I talked to everybody, man, you know, I, I had a lot of good things happen in my life. Um, I, uh, I was able to pass my um, statewide electrical exam to get my electrical license. I was able to become licensed in my state to be an electrician. Um, got insurance, my company set up, everything's going good. Been putting a lot of focus into that. Just been focusing on my life, man. Been doing some field research as far as, you know, uh, this red pill stuff goes. Um, you know, cause cause living this life, man, you, you still you still come across females, you still you still, you know, live around females, you still see females, and I just observe things and see things for what they are. You know, it's like I say, I never came here to be a monk or anything like that, but I'm just learning the ways that these women operate. The things that motivate them, the things that move them, learning what moves me as a man, what motivates me as a man, what should motivate me, understanding that my purpose is ultimately the most important thing in my life. And if I just out here chasing this bag and getting this money and getting myself together, that women's a byproduct of that, you know, because if we come from a stance of looking at, you know, what women want, what men want, it's like a give, take, take, give like kind of thing, you know, because we want, we want youth and beauty and they want resources and status so you know you got to kind of have a trade-off if you're going to deal with them you know I, I know a lot of people in the MGTOW red pill community you know are, are really angry and stuff like that at these women and I understand why because a lot of people got burnt really bad and stuff like that but the thing I, I just look at is like you know you got to come to this from a strategic standpoint man you know like all of us understand man it's not smart at all for a man to get married it's not smart for you to you know live with a woman or do any of these kind of things because ultimately like the sacrifice that you're going to have to give up and the things that you're going to have to give up just to get some consistent sex on a regular basis that's going to ultimately dry up and turn into passionless passionless uh arguments and you know just just we always know how it ends and, and luckily for me i've always been able to get myself out um before it turned that way or whatever but the video I want to make today, man, it's kind of a funny video. It's something that kind of popped up in my head, and, and I just wanted to make a video about it. And it's kind of like a food for thought video, man, about something. And, and, and the title of this video is going to be, She's Ready to Settle Down Now. And if you think of the concept of settling down, if you notice that statement... It doesn't say, all right, I'm ready to settle up. When a woman says she's ready to settle down, if she's settling down with you, that means that she decided to lower her standards and settle for something that she really didn't want just because she's ready to stop riding the carousel. Man. So if you ever hear a woman tell you that she's ready to settle down, and she's choosing you to do that with, you have to look at what she looks at you as. Because you gotta think about it, man. Like, I think about everything from a logical aspect, man. You know? And I just read a book, you know, by Rolo Tomasi called The Rational Male. And it really it really explained what hypergamy is in an in-depth, you know, um, detail. It really described, you know, female nature to, to a T why they do what they do it really described what the wall is and the sexual marketplace value and these were things that like i had broad understandings of but now i have like intricate understandings of them and when you look at it a woman usually is ready to settle down somewhere in her 30s man you know they get to, to around 30 years old and they start realizing that they can't get by forever on the way that they look and they can't get by on their sexuality anymore and they're gonna have to learn how to use something other than their body to not attract a man but to keep a man because they still have a lot of women that stay really good looking into their late 30s man i'm not gonna say a lot but they have them even into their 40s but they start to realize that guys you know after a while guys that become successful and guys who raise their marketplace value to an extent to where you know they they at that ours is at 36 the apex of our sexual marketplace bags at 36 and i'm 36 right now 
um, because at that time, you know, we're still physically attractive. Some of us are still in good shape. Um, we still know how to carry ourselves, but we learned a lot about the world. We learned a lot about how women operate. We've come to a point in our life where we get to a point of financial stability and we come to a point where we have a career established in our life and stuff like that. And, you know, women understand that, man. So the thing about it is, is like if you my age and you get with a woman that's in her 30s and her late 30s or something like that, she's going to try to convince you, you know, to settle down with her because she understands that her value is deteriorating at a rapid pace and that your value is increasing. And she knows that she wants you to know that you know, she wants to know that you want it by other women, but she doesn't want you to know that you want it by other women like that. You know, and and the thing about it is, is that it's just a, it's a it's a it's a it's a strange dynamic when it comes to the marketplace value, you know, and, and the sexual game because as a man gets older, his rises, but a woman's decline. So her goal is to get a to get a man who is at her level or above her. That's what hypergamy is at her level or above her to keep. But also to not let him know that he's at her level or above her because he she wants to keep him tricked to think that she's his best option. And that's why when you look at it, a lot of women say, you know, I'm ready to settle down. They're not settling down with you because, because they think you're wonderful. They're not settling down with you because they think that you're the best person they ever met. They're not settling down with you because, you know, they feel like you're their soulmate. They're not settling down with you because they feel like that you're the love of their life. They're not settling down with you because they feel like you're the best thing that God ever sent their way. They're not settling down with you because you're the best lady they ever had. They're not settling down with you because, you know, you're the, you're, the, you're the smartest, funniest person they ever had. They're not settling down with you because you're the best they ever had in bed. They are settling down with you. And don't take this as an insult because it's not an insult because I know it's been done to me too. They settling down with you because they feel like at that moment in time you are the best option that they have. It's no more or no less than that, man. It, 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 it's simple. Like that's what people. I'm not just gonna say women. That's what people settle down for because they feel like their options, whoever they settling down with, is the best option that they have. But I just want to tell my bros, my guys, you know, the the, the, the guys in the manosphere, man, my brothers, all the people out there. You know, they have ingested the red pill and that's living this life, man. Like, you have options, man. You a man, bro. Like, you can never believe this feminist agenda, you know, where, where you get with a woman and you got to understand, bro. Her goal is to make you feel like you don't have options. Her goal is to not let you see your real value, man. You know, I mean, look at me, man. Look how high my value is in this getting, man. Like, I'm not too my own horn or nothing like that. But first of all, I know I'm not hard to look at. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm smart. I know I'm funny. I know how to carry myself. I know how to carry a conversation. I started my own business. Um, you know, I'm becoming financially independent, financially successful. You know, I know how to carry myself. I'm a leader of men, you know. But the thing about it is, is that like a woman, she's never going to want you to understand it about yourself. She's always going to want to to denigrate or devalue you in your mind because she doesn't want you to ever believe that there's anything out there better for you than her. And especially if she's a beautiful woman. That's why people don't really understand too much. And I didn't understand either how some of the most beautiful women they could deal with could be some of the most insecure women, bro. And I understand it today because as men, we don't understand our value place in the market as much as women understand theirs, man. You know, because we've been socially conditioned to believe that men are disposable, like men men, men aren't useful, like we, the women are just the... The, the everything of society that it's, it's they're the apex and we're just like you know we just the lowly the lowly sex of the bunch but in all actuality man men have created everything you see around you you know there's nothing around you that you see that a man has not created you know and um you know it, it, it's in their own interest to to not let you know what your value is because if they if you understand that you have options and you understand that you have value and you understand that you can do better than them where that leaves them at you know, so they have to have a false sense of, they have to convince you of their false sexual marketplace value also, and also convince you that, that you're not at the place you're at. So I'm just grateful, man, for all this information, man. Like, like I just look at it as settling down. Like you, 
you know, I'm ready to settle down now. Let's, I just want to settle down and have a family. I just, I want to know, man, don't believe that, bro. Don't believe that it's, it's because of you. It's because at that point in her life, she done ruled the carousel for long enough and understand it's not going to work for her no more because she can't attract the kind of quick licks that she used to attract. And she's just settling for you because you're the best option that she has. You know, and I don't ever want any of y'all to settle because y'all feel like she's y'all best option because she never is, man. You know, there's always better options than her. A real woman that really loves you is going, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to support you, man. They're not going to try to knock you down. They're not going to try to make you believe that you're less than what you are. They're going to try to make you believe that you're more than what you are and that you can accomplish anything, you know, so... That's just a little pill, man. I want to give y'all, man. I'm glad to be back on the scene, bro. It's not like I left the scene. I just been really grinding out here, doing work, doing things. Um, you know, trying to find better ways to support my business, support my family. I've been hanging out with a lot of my friends and just living this life, man, and dealing with these females out here, man, and learning about them every day. You know, I like to study stuff. I like to learn stuff. And it's like I said a long time ago, man. Like I, I'd be, I'd be alive. I told y'all, like I don't love women. I love women. I think women are the most beautiful thing on this earth. But the difference between me today is like I love what they look like. I love how they could make me feel, but I also understand them. And I never could love them from like a, a total abandon for myself in a total unconditional way anymore. I love, I love them from, from a, from a, a, a physiological, and and um, in like gratifying type of way. You know, and I'm fully aware of the damage that they can cause to me or anybody else that's dealing with them. And when you deal with them, you just got to act accordingly, man, and realize what you're dealing with. You know, you got to feed people with a long handle spoon, man. I was told that a long time ago, like, you can't never make decisions with your heart, man, because every time you make decisions with your heart, you're going to make the wrong one. So all I'm telling y'all is never settle and don't believe her when she says she's settling down for you because she's just settling down because she feels like you're her best option. Peace.